Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, the host of Mr. Mobile. Today we're going to take a look at syncing and charging your new Palm Pre. The Pre comes with a travel charger that can be plugged into the wall for charging purposes only. The charger uses a standard USB port and Palm has helpfully included cables that have a shiny spot on them that matches the shiny spot on the charger. So always shiny to shiny and you won't have any trouble plugging things in. Same is true for the other end that plugs into the Pre, which also has a shiny spot on it so you know which way is up. Plugging the end of the USB cable into a laptop allows you to sync the Pre as well as charging it. Use the micro USB port located on the side of the Pre, underneath the panel, shiny side up, and the Pre will automatically go into sync mode. You have the choice of three different things to do when you plug in the Pre. Media Sync allows you to sync the files that are on the Pre with iTunes on your Mac or PC. USB Drive uses the Pre as a USB Drive on the computer, which allows you access to the files that are on the Pre, including photos, video, wallpapers, and just general storage. And the Just Charge option just charges the Pre. Tapping on Media Sync will show a syncing icon on the Pre and will mount it in iTunes as an iPod. A note on syncing with iTunes. Apple doesn't support syncing non-Apple devices, so Pre's have to do a number of different hacks to get the device working in iTunes itself. As a result, when Apple releases updates to iTunes, it often stops the Pre from syncing. If you're a Pre user and you use iTunes to sync your media, you may want to stay one revision back when Apple releases new versions so that Palm has a chance to catch up and re-enable syncing in the Pre. A second note on syncing with iTunes, because it sees this as an iPod and offers to sync contacts and calendars, you may think that that would actually sync with the Pre. Unfortunately, the Pre doesn't support them, and so you're essentially using it as a backup for that information rather than being able to access them. If you'd like to sync those with your Mac or PC, the best option is to sync the Mac with Google and then use the Pre's built-in support to sync that information down. You'll want to take a look at an application like Spanning Sync on the Mac or a number of different Google Sync options on Windows to allow you to do that. Take a look at the rest of our series for more information on the Pre. Thanks for watching.